Hey everyone, Kev the Trainer here. Welcome to Workout 23 in our 12-week Beginners to Beast workout program. Today I have a full body intermediate workout for you, so if you're here for that, stay tuned. If you're new here, my name is Kevin and I'm a NASM certified personal trainer. And on this channel, I provide workouts, recipes, reviews, and fitness tips. So if any of those things interest you, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're the first to know when I post out something new. Today's workout is going to be a full body Tabata workout. So in today's workout, we have seven exercises that we're going to be doing for eight rounds. It's going to be 20 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate all the exercises we're going to be doing. So you can go ahead and jog in place, drink some water, stretch it out. So by the time I'm done demonstrating, you're ready and good to go. So the first exercise we're gonna be doing are lunge pass-throughs. So we're gonna go hold on to a weight. What's gonna happen is I'm going to lunge with the leg that is the opposite to the hand that I'm holding the weight in. So I'm holding the weight on my right hand, my left leg is gonna go forward. So lunge, keep the chest up, pass that weight through. Now I'm gonna move my right leg forward lunge, pass through, okay? So you're just gonna alternate. Next up, we're gonna do some weighted squats. So go ahead and grab onto weights. You're gonna place them up on your shoulders like so. Then we're going to get our feet shoulder width apart, butt back, come down, come up, okay? Weighted squats. Next up, we're going into Arnold presses. So go ahead and hold the weights up like so. Then you're gonna go ahead and rotate those arms out and press up. And then you're gonna come back to the same position out, then up, back to the same position, okay? So you're not segmenting, you're not rotating out, then pressing up. As you're rotating out, you're pressing up. All right, in this next exercise, we're gonna do some isometric holds with the weights. So go ahead and have that chest nice and proud. Elbows a little forward, holding onto the weights, 90 degrees, and you're just gonna hold onto this position for 20 seconds. In this next exercise, we're going to be doing some sumo squat jumps. So have those feet wider than usual, toes pointed out, and bring that butt back, chest up, hold onto the weight, Remember with the sumo squat, we're not going to lift or bring the weight up with our arms. We're just holding onto it. To bring the weight up with a sumo squat jump, we're going to jump up, land on soft knees, chest up, like so. Next up, we're gonna be doing some push-ups to plank jacks. Wrists right underneath those shoulders, legs out, push up, plank jack, push up, plank jack. And finally, we're gonna finish off some bicycles. So go ahead and lay back, hands on top of your head, so you're gonna go ahead and bring that opposite elbow to the opposite knee, extend the other leg out, like so. So those are all of the exercises in today's workout. Go ahead and grab some water, because we're about to get started.
you've been through Why you got scars Since you walked through the door I've been trying to reach you Cause I feel you What's the story to tell? What's the story behind? The mountain you're trying to climb Think I've heard it before in a movie line We can ride our own end in this time
Nice work, everyone. You finished another leg day. I'm very proud of you. I know those sumo squat jumps were killer, so make sure you're taking in a lot of protein so we can recover quickly, especially since we have a leg focus day tomorrow. So go ahead, rest easy, drink plenty of water, eat your protein, and I will see you then.